I'd say uh, the contrast from what, what a record company would do on, and what a booking, a booking agency will straight out say, you know what, you're going to play Buffalo on the 10th. We're going to roll down to Albany on the 11th. We're going to play New York City on 12th. It'll be the agency's job to decide what city and what day you're playing. Whereas the record company, the way I would look at it, we're sending Michael Buble to Buffalo, Albany, New York City. Well, knowing that I'm going into Buffalo on the 10th, the, the role of the record company now, I know the tour is rolling through there. I'm responsible for the tour. I know when he's getting there, being in Buffalo by noon, he'll be ready to go by one. So as a record company, I would look to my publicity department. I would look to my radio department and my sales department. How do I maximize these four hours? I've got from one o'clock to four o'clock of Michael time. What, what can I do? Well, press will have me do an interview with the, you know, the Buffalo Globe. Sales will have me run by Tower Records. And, you know, Z100 will have me go by the station. But as, a, as the touring department, I know where he's going to be. I know how to coordinate all that, and I keep this machine rolling, so I get the maximum value out of being out on a tour day. Where in the past, I don't think labels did that. You know what? They're going out on tour. We'll buy tickets. We'll give them away at radio. Well, it seems like a wasted opportunity. You know, and in, in this day and age where money is tight and you need to take advantage of everything you can, you don't want to waste opportunity like that. I think they're night and day. I think in, in, in the past, say during the Warner Brothers heyday, Tours were great. They were fun. They were a party. We can do whatever we want. We'll send our guys out. We'll have a blast. You know, then we'll take the band out and we'll go do what we want to do. Today, there isn't the availability like that to just, it's not a party. It is business. There's work we've got to get done. Um, in the past, you didn't have guys like me that didn't understand the touring side and the business side of things. You know, traditionally, labels, yeah, we'll buy tickets. Now uh, record companies are more involved with the planning of the tour, more involved with the cost of touring, more involved in the back end win or loss, you know, which some people look at the record company as the big bad machine. You know, oh, we've, we've extorted money. We've pimped the artist for all they're worth. We, I disagree. I absolutely disagree. You as an artist have every right and every freedom to come to a label or do it yourself. You know, I don't think most people realize how much money is laid out to develop a baby band. Millions of dollars. If we don't make that back, we're out that money. You are free to do it on your own. There's nobody stopping you. The internet can help you. You can do it any way you want. But if you want the expertise of guys that can do what I do, or the expertise of a Tom Wally, who is the greatest label president I know, you know, that's, you've got to join the team. Um, whereas Warner Brothers now will participate more in the touring. Um, we will, we will help bands and, and create merch deals and we will help bands sell product on the road and we will keep them rolling. The, the, the best thing for us is that you now can sell your CDs at a, at a show and get the sound scan for it, which is an honest way of getting a true representation of what's going on out there. You know, you play a date and you sell 200 CDs and, and you get the paperwork filled out correctly, you want to reflect that. And we participate in all of that. And I don't look at us as, as an evil machine. We, we are not here to bleed bands dry. We are here to develop careers. You know, we, we, it's a, we need a future. We're not just going to use them up and spit them out, which I hear so many people refer to the major label like that. That's just not the case. Look, you get some bands like the hippie jam band, like Fish or String Cheese Incident. Do you want to come to an Interscope Records, which might be leaning more towards 50 Cent and hip hop? It would be a disaster for you. You know, uh, depending on the genre of music. Uh, a perfect example, look at Blink-182. When they were playing in San Diego in that market, before they were signed, they probably sold about 30,000 units. Just based on playing the San Diego area. Did they need us? No, they didn't. Did it help? Absolutely. It's, it's personal choice on that one. Do you think you can do it yourself on the internet? To me, I would prefer to be with a major. I like having the resources a major label has. You know, 
having the head of radio and a head of sales and these people are very connected people and really work to break their racks. I think it's important.